Anyway, it looks like fall has finally hit East Idaho or is going to this week mm-hmm. on Thursday. We've had 70s and 80s through September. I mean, there's a couple of rainy days. Right, yeah. It looks like it's about to get chilly. It is. Uh, Wednesday, 72. Thursday's high, 52. Man, that's a pretty big jump. We all know what that means. It's uh, cuffing season, mm-hmm. sweater weather, mm-hmm. um, gray sweatpants season. Mm-hmm. All the girls look for- forward to that. <laughs> or I guess look down to that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we, we did see, let's get to the foli- foliage. Boy, old habits die hard. I used to think the word was foliage as a oh, kid. Oh, I could see why, though. I think even adults, some adults I knew said foliage. Look yeah. at that beautiful foliage. <laughs> yeah, which doesn't sound nearly as nice as foliage. We did see some beautiful fall foliage last week. Snake mm-hmm. River Landing mm-hmm. um, by the waterfront. Okay, so Snake River Parkway is the road that sort of gently curves between Sunnyside and Snake River Landing. You could say that it's kind of snake-shaped? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if they did that on purpose. (laughs) And then the street that runs perpendicular, kind of in the middle, is Event Center Drive. Right. You head east to get to the waterfront. Mm -hmm. You head west to get to the Mac. Yeah. If you head east, and I just literally parked thinking, oh, there's got to be some some fun shots around here somewhere. Oh, the Life in Idaho Falls Facebook group Mm -hmm. was having a cover photo (laughs) contest. So I just parked the car on the sidewalk and I looked out my window and I was like, that's it. Right. <laughs> There's this, look at this. There's this beautiful two rows of trees on this sort of stream mm-hmm. leading to the big pond in the middle of the Snake River Landing waterfront area mm-hmm. with fountains. Super fun. There it is looking back toward my car. Just beautiful fall colors right now. And we also saw some at Rose Hill Cemetery, which we'll get to later. Part of our little spooky spot of the show, I guess. Rocky yeah. Mountain Horror <laughs> Show. I'm so excited to talk about that. So it's there if you know where to look. Oh, is it still? By the time this episode airs, all of the fall may have fallen. I predict all of on the Thursday. Fall may have fallen. Yeah. <laughs> I predict on Thursday it'll really fall. Look, I will say all I want is a warm enough Halloween to go out and have a good time. Yeah. I don't want to be freezing my butt off just to like go out and enjoy myself. I you remember know? having to wear a winter coat over my Halloween costume. Same, and I hated it, and I yeah. just don't want the kids to have to do that this year. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Plus, I'm really wanting to hand out full-size candy bars, so mm. I don't want them to be, like, shaking on my doorstep as I give them candy. And, and speaking of, if you do need a warm-up, the Give Back Soup Shack yes. has reopened for the season. I know. I'm so excited. They're in that little sort of food truck area in mm-hmm. front of what used to be Planet Doom or kind of next to Bolero on First mm-hmm. Street. And a portion of their proceeds goes to a charity each month. Mm-hmm. That's so they, really cool. they cycle through different ones, which I think is the coolest part, too. You can get a soup and Sammy and have a little mm-hmm. lunch in your car. Oh, they've got some good, like they do Take a really good to sandwich, too. Mm-hmm. And they got yeah. some good desserts as well. Oh, do they I just put their the menu up. Ooh, yeah. well, I guess we got to go. Uh-huh. <laughs>